dokies. Okie dokies. Okie dokies. Dokie folks. Morning. I've just put my skincare on. Um, I think I said on my skincare video, if you come for hair inspiration, this is not the channel. Literally, I threw it on my head and clipped it and it's staying. So I'm going to put some makeup on. I'm going to make an effort. It is Sunday. Why does Sunday still feel different? Now, does it feel different when you're from an age when there was nothing to do on a Sunday? That's my query. Because I remember, I'm this old, when there was nothing open. The paper shops on a Sunday, you get your Sunday paper. And I used to get a Fry's chocolate cream or a Barnville dark chocolate as a treat with my dad. And we used to go watch old men on the bowling green playing with the bowls. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that feeling still hangs in the air with me, even though I've, you know, worked retail and I've worked on a Sunday. Now on a Sunday, I still feel that sort of Sunday vibe. I get quite irritated if people suggest doing anything. I'd love it if we stopped again. Imagine if we stopped again. Oh, the calm and you just hear church bells ringing and... Anyway, I'm going to put my face on because it's Sunday. Not because it's Sunday. Um, not because I was up at 5am and I was. But we've got family coming today. They're coming to stay. And, you know, I've been tidying round. Everything's tidy. Everything's ready. It's been ready for weeks. But, you know, the last few bits... And I can guarantee that, you know, wherever I'm hoping Craig doesn't go, he goes. He treads where he doesn't usually tread. And so there's that running around. It's like having a toddler in a man's body. I'm sure just something clicks in his brain and he thinks, oh, I've not gone in there for the last few months. I'll just go in there and rearrange everything that she's already arranged. I feel that. Anyway, I'm done sorted so i'm going to put a little bit of makeup on i don't know what but i do know i'm going to glow this this baby up a bit now then i'm going to use the new product which is the hnb cosmetics soft focus luminous glow tint gt6 for anybody who's been looking one pump it's a tiktok buy I love TikTok. Just saying, I do. It's brilliant for book stuff. Oh my goodness me. Books, any historical blurb, especially the Tudors. Oh, it smells. And it smells like Johnson's Baby Lotion, which I used to put on my face. I did. I used to use Johnson's Baby Lotion as a moisturiser. Oh, God. Anyway, I love TikTok because books history brilliant for the children bulldog stuff by the zillionth lots of movie stuff which i really love and also can i just say they've got some great channels where you can perv on kenneth branner and jason isaac because you know they're two of my favorites and i like a bit of a perv okay also, can I just say, I've no idea who they are and I'm really sorry if you're going to say to me, oh, Rebecca, you just, does anybody know, <laughs> I sound like an old lady now, Imagine Dragons, it's a band, the lead singer, oh, I'm old enough to be his mother, I'm sure I am, but he's rather lovely, rather lovely, he has a sort of, he has a, a look of my husband maybe that's what it is but i've seen a few clips of him and thought oh maybe i might add him to my perv list right so that's the glow not too glowy has a bit of the charlotte tilbury vibe in that it does even your skin out a little bit so it's more than just an illuminator it does have a bit of a makeup quality too but i am going to put a little bit of foundation over the top just to posh myself up a bit sculpted by amy the second skin dewy finish foundation which you know 
I love. I only want a bit though. So yeah, we've got family coming. Betty will be thrilled. Just a little bit. Now, just a bit. It is a bit dark. Oh, that's in the light, isn't it? It it does come out sometimes as a bit dark on my skin. But anyway, we're going to go with it. More than I wanted, actually. Never mind. But Betty, oh my goodness. It takes her a couple of days to calm down. She loves it. Absolutely loves it. So, yes. It's Betty's grandma and granddad. <laughs> Craig's parents coming to stay. And she loves them. She'll be thrilled. Trouble is, she likes to sit on their knee. And she's a heavy lummox at the best of times. But they're both, you know, nicely in their 80s. And it's a hell of a lot of bulldog to cope with when you're in your 80s. And she doesn't take no for an answer. She wallops herself up there. And literally, you just sort of see my mother-in-law's head. And Betty. And she also loves kissing Craig's dad. She's got a thing about kissing him and licking him on his face. And of course, the more you laugh, the more it encourages her. Right, I'm going in with a sponge. So she doesn't know. She knows something's happening. Because we've moved a few things around just to make it easier for them. And bulldogs don't like you changing things. And she also knows that the guest bedroom has been prepped. So she's she's aware that something's diff something is different. But when she sees them, oh my goodness. And it does, it takes her a couple of days to just calm down from it all. She gets really excited when she gets visitors. Right, that's a bit better. A little bit of the Revolution concealer. So, yeah. So I've got to put on my best hostess with the mostest for the next uh, couple of weeks. Wet sponge. This is a really damp, damp sponge, actually. So we were up early because my father-in-law doesn't drive very far now. Neither does my mother-in-law. So Craig goes to fetch them, bless him, and he takes them back home again. There we go. Super, super duper. Right, I've dragged this out. Now, I have a feeling it was PR because I know I wouldn't have bought this because it's not technically colours I would have jumped for. Naked Urban Decay Heat. And the only colour I really used a lot of was this, as you can see. Everything else is pretty tidy. In fact, the sum I've definitely not touched. It smells fine. I'm only going to put a little bit on the eyes. I'm not going mad, obviously. I'm going to use a little bit of Chaser, first of all. I used to get palettes from Urban Decay. How lucky was I? I did add a couple of their palettes they kindly sent me. They sent me a box once with four palettes in. Oh, it's so exciting. This is showing up really dark on my lid to say it's a really light colour. And I haven't got a colour on the brush. But anyway, I just wanted to, just a bit of something on the lid. As I said, I don't want to go, I don't want to go mad. Just a bit of colour. I'm not going to put anything on the bottom. But that's heat. That's gorgeous though, isn't it? Definitely not use some of them. No. Right. Maggie Scara. Maybelline. The false is surreal. I may have a PR suit. I'm going to curl my lashes, so don't look. Just listen. I may have something PR soon to share with you. I mean, sometimes you get asked and... You say yes and nothing ever arrives and that's fine. But I had an email and it was something I thought, oh, it's a brand I've had PR from before. 
and it's a brand that I trust and it's a brand that works for my skin and if it does come and I talk about it you'll know why I said yes and I've bought the products before as well that's the important thing that tells you I don't just say yes just to get freebies and there's a lot of that around there always has been but I I do there's one or two people where I think mm, you've you've gone over the fence and that for me is when people stick to certain things and then suddenly they throw a curveball and I think okay maybe they're interested in that and then something else gets featured and you start to think no you're just saying yes to anything and everything that's offered to you and I don't get offered that much now at all I get the odd email um, I get a lot of skincare and I say no thank you because I've got rosacea and you'll understand I don't really want to aggravate it so I wouldn't use your products anyway so it's not fair on you as a brand and brands are pretty good about it right collection this is the gorgeous glow um blusher and it is blush one you can do it from the stick if you wish and I'm just gonna Use my fingers first of all, and then I'm just going to use the sponge again. And I also would never say yes to something and not feature it. And I mean, I do respect brands that will say to you, you know, we send, we'll send you this, but obviously we don't have any expectations that you'll feature it. I do respect them for that because you I have had brands and there are brands out there that dictate what they want you to say and how they want you to say it and that's never ever been me I have never um accepted anything where the brands tried to dictate how I speak or that I will say use certain words if they're not words I would use for the product um but I would never accept anything I wouldn't feature to me that's just it's not right right there we go. Okay. Collection. It's always been such a good makeup brand. Right. I think probably a little bit of lippy. Let's use this, I think. Yes. So this is Makeup Academy and it is the Lip Stilo Stylo. I'm just going to put that on. And this is Love Letter. there oh that's lovely really does smell lovely it smells like homemade custard when you make homemade custard and you're sweeping out the vanilla pods mm, that's what it smells like it's a long time since i've made homemade custard i used to make it for my godson i'm still using the hourglass ambient powder and homemade custard isn't yellow and he used to say to me, Auntie Becky, it's not yellow, it can't be custard. And it took me a long time to make him understand that they actually use colouring. It shouldn't be yellow. <laughs> there. And this powder for people still, it mood light. I don't know if they still do these, but you can get a lot of powders very similar. I do love Hourglass though, Italian made. And Italians really know how to do their makeup. There we go. Soft and simple, a bit like me. Makeup. Hiding the fact that I am completely and utterly cream crackered. But it'd be fine. We'll have an early night tonight, I think. There we go. That's it. I don't know what I've got going on in my hair. I've always got bits in my hair. It's like a vacuum cleaner. Anybody else? When you've got long hair, you just tend to find bits hanging in it. Right. Nothing else to tell you. I've got my dishwasher man coming tomorrow, hopefully, to fix me dodgy hinge. I'm hoping it's that simple. I've convinced myself it is. So I'm in for a shock if it isn't. Um, yeah. So dishwasher man tomorrow. And then family are here, so I don't know.
we haven't really planned anything. The beauty of living by the sea is that people, do, you don't really need to go anywhere because you're already somewhere lovely. And there's lots of good places they, they can sit down and lots of things to watch. And there's the fish market, so there's lots of trawlers coming in and out. And there's lots of wildlife. We have a lot of um, seals at the moment that are pregnant. So it'll soon be pupping season. Sort of starts from August. Um, there was a bit of an incident yesterday. Um, on where I live on the beach, there's a time and tide bell. And it's a big wooden structure with a bell. And when the tide gets to a certain height, it rings the bell. And they can set it. To sort of, so it's not irritatingly ringing all the time but it was the inauguration yesterday and when things like that happen a lot of the local wildlife places come out and they have little stalls set up to give advice to people and a lot of people come to the seaside and they don't realize you know what not to do and if you people see a seal on the beach or they see a seal on a rock and they get too close and they invade its space and a mother seal will just leave its babies if if it's frightened it'll just leave this poor baby so you've got to be so careful so they try and educate people anyway yesterday they were there at the inauguration and some people came up and said that there were fishermen who were throwing stones at a seal so they went to find out what was going on and unfortunately because a lot of fishermen locally do feed the seals and people feed the seals seals start to get people friendly and of course they're not stupid either and if you're fishing they know you're gonna reel in fish and they help themselves um and unfortunately this was a group of people who were clearly not seal friendly had stones literally at their feet and were throwing them at a very heavily pregnant seal local we know this seal she's named she's tagged and the SEAL project people were trying to have an intelligent conversation. And basically these people were not interested, they were fishing. And basically said when they came back next year, they'd probably do a lot worse to the SEALs. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of people that wouldn't let that happen. But if you're not there, you can't stop it. And bad things have happened to SEALs here at the hands of people. Um... But it does infuriate me, it makes my blood boil. And I kind of feel we need a vigilante group to deal with people like this swiftly, very swiftly. But yeah, that's the reality. People come to the coast and they don't respect it and they treat the wildlife appallingly. But hopefully um, it won't be like that when my in-laws are going for their lovely walk and they'll see the seals and hopefully we'll have we had dolphins last week um late in the evening so hopefully there'll be dolphins there's always something um so the nice thing is you don't always need to be planning to get away to lots of different places but saying that we do have lots of lovely places around us as well at the same time so we'll see but we haven't anything planned at the moment right i'm gonna go i'm gonna throw some clothes on See if there's anything else I can find to wipe and vacuum and I'll be back very soon. Take care, bye.